so today we're going to be talking about uh, graduation and what happens between graduating on that Friday from RTC and moving to your A school. So had someone watch my last video I made, it was my first one, talking about um, some of the changes coming up through uh, Navy basic training. Uh, I encourage you to check that out if you're interested, here's some rumors, uh, clear some things up for you. Um, now this guy's question, he's, uh, he's shipping out in March, I think, I can't remember. Um, he's an MA, or an aspiring MA, and he, uh, his question was, what happens between graduating on Friday from RTC and shipping out to your A school? So like I said, he's an MA, so he's going to school in Texas. Um, and so he's wondering how long it takes to graduate Friday and then leave. What's the time span there? And then also when and what's the process for getting his cell phone and civilian clothes or whatever he's bringing to school. Um, so first, we're gonna talk about what happens graduation day. Actually, scratch that. Let me tell you what happened to me because my situation was a little unique and really all most of your situations are unique. Um, so for me, what happened was um, the night before graduation, I basically got taken out of my division um, because I was the RPOC. Um, <clears throat> so I was the, the chief of my division or the recruit chief. And um, so basically I went in as uh, SCCF, so that's Submarine Electronic Computer something. It's irrelevant. You work on submarines and you, I would have, I was going for like sonar stuff. And uh, problem was I failed my color vision at MEPS and they just wrote a waiver for it. And then I got to boot camp and they said, oh, we don't take waivers for that. We never take waivers for that. So I had to reclass about week four so I'm a machinist mate now. And, uh, but before that, for submarines and nukes, and also any aviation rates, you have to go through a lot of special physicals. So that's anything from uh, stuff with your back, your hearing, that's mostly it. Yeah, so uh, special phys. And uh, that has to be when, you, when you're about to leave, that has to be signed off by Captain Chris, who's the the commanding officer there. Problem was that technically I still had special fizz, even though I didn't need it for machinist mate, I still went. Um, so I needed that signature from Captain Chris, but he took a week off after the week I graduated. So I needed his signature. So since my medical record didn't have his signature on it, um, they couldn't send it to school. So I got sent to temp, uh, THU, which is Temporary Holding Unit, um, which is still on the RTC side, it's Ship 5. Um, I was there for about five days. I worked in um, uh, SEPS administration, so just processing computer stuff is boring, but something to do. And um, so I was there for about five days, waiting on him to sign it. As soon as he signed it, I got my orders, and right across the street. Um, now graduation day, what happened for me is I graduated, they called Liberty Call, I think, at like 10.30, 10 or 10.30. And um, my parents, I hadn't paid for my uh, pictures yet, because you get pictures taken and you get to order some. And uh, I did not have the 200 and some dollars it was for my pictures, so I couldn't buy them uh, that Wednesday prior to graduation. So I had to buy them and pick them up on graduation day. And it gets crazy. So if you have a large training group, that can take a couple hours. So luckily I just sent my parents over there while I checked back into my um, birthing. They picked them up. I checked back in when I met them. That was like 45 minutes to an hour. Now if you're going to, if you <clears throat> have your orders and you're going right across the street after you graduate, that's going to take up half of your liberty because what's going to happen is you're going to graduate you're going to have to be over there um in front of wherever whatever ship you were uh, and that with that shuttle you're gonna have to be there at like 
I think it was like 12, 11 or 12, and uh, with all your stuff. And then you gotta come over here, and you gotta check in, and that takes like four or five hours. So, luckily for me, I was in THU, so I didn't have to do that. So I got an extra four or five hours with my family. Um, now, if you're, if you have orders to go to, if you're a nuke, you're going to uh, South Carolina, if you are an aviation, like a PAC something or an aviation rate, you're going to go to uh, Pensacola. If you're a corpsman, you're going to go to San Antonio. MAs go to Texas. I don't really know the rest of them. Um, so if you have those, your orders, you're going to have a, a plane ticket. So you're going to have a, your orders are going to have a plane ticket. And they're going to tell you what time you need to be at that shuttle in front of your ship. Um, it can be anywhere between like 8.30, 7.30 at night that day of graduation to 1 or 2 in the morning the very next day. So you'll get no sleep or maybe even 10 to 12 the next day. Um, in which case you'll have to be there. So, for example, if you were leaving Friday night at 8.30, your flight, you had to leave RTC in that shuttle at 8.30, you have to have all your stuff down there uh, out on the sidewalk with the shuttle 30 minutes prior. You load up and you'll go. Um, so that's graduation. Then you get to your school and you check in. Um, that, that honestly is pretty much, oh, I almost forgot. So your, your civilian stuff, um, your family, if you got family coming to, my nipples are showing, uh, if you got family coming to your graduation, they can bring your stuff, uh, to graduation. The, the only thing is like your cell phone, they can't give it to you. Ignore that. Yeah, 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 they can. Um. Mine was a special case. Anyway, uh, they can they bring it with them at graduation, and they give it to you then. And then you just take it with you to uh, school. Now, your orders specify that I think you can have up to like five bags. I pack light because it depends on your room, um, as far as what, how much room you're gonna have uh, for all your stuff. So like, I'll show you mine real quick. Um, it's a mess because it's the weekend. It's a three-day weekend. Um, so, you walk in through this here door. I can't flip the camera. We got this little kitchenette, so we got the microwave. Got a little mini fridge. Freezer up top. And... Some cupboards, it does not come with dishes. This is not a homewood suite. That's my roommate's room. Little sink there. Got the head. It's pretty nice. This is my room, it's a mess, like I said. Um, if you get to your school and you have a room like this and you have a bottom rack and a top rack, here's a hint. Because you still have room inspections, but it's not quite like boot camp, like you don't have to do the whole uh, 45 degree angles and stuff. You just have to make sure it's neat. Um, so what you'll do is you make your rack down here, but you sleep up here, right? Because then you never have to mess with this. Um, you'll have to get a, if you have like electronics and shit, like a TV, PlayStation, Xbox or whatever. I've got my old one. Things like 15 years old, still kicking. Uh, you have to get an electronic chip. So basically what that means is like, it's kind of like a receipt and how much it's worth and it has a serial number and stuff in case someone stole it. Um, there's an article in the USCMJ um, about being compensated for that. So if you don't want to do that, all you got to do is during working hours, Monday through Friday, which is like 0630 to uh, 1700 roughly, you just got to take your electronics Put them in your your closet because it locks and they don't check that. Um, so this is my closet. Got all my stuff hung up. You know, nice dresser, a lot of storage space. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty nice space.
Yeah, so like my room has a lot of space. Now when I got here, when I first got here, I was in another uh, building that was a lot smaller. It was like a little bit bigger than this room, but what it had is it had bunk in each corner and underneath you had your desk. So you shared a room with four people and they didn't have a bathroom or the kitchenette. So a lot smaller and you had a very small closet. It was only like a foot deep. So just be mindful of what you're bringing. Make sure that you can... The thing is when you get your ship, you first get your ship, especially if you're on des, your school's only gonna be like two, three weeks long tops. And you don't have a whole lot of space. You only have enough room for like two sea bags worth of storage and like a, a carry-on, like a backpack. So, like I said, just be intentional about what you bring. One thing you're gonna learn in the military that I'm learning very quickly is to be very minimalistic. You know, you're gonna live off of very little, okay? Um, if I missed anything, feel free to drop it in the comments if you have suggestions or other questions for uh, future videos. Like I said, I got a three-day weekend because of uh, uh, Martin Luther King Day. So, might drop a couple more videos today or later this weekend. Deuces.